Wow, look at that. I just might have to go outside and take a look at this if I can see it. Almost on top of us. Let's check this out. Sometimes I wish we didn't have so many trees out here in the backyard. Yeah, I'm in my backyard. This neighborhood. We have oak trees in the front. We have oak trees in the back. We have volunteer trees all over the place. This is my neighbor's yard. Check this out. They never, never, never mow the grass back here. I'm surprised the city hasn't come out and placed a noxious weed ordinance warning on their front door, but they get away with not doing it. I don't know how. Anyway, looking straight north, can't really tell, but just north of Lancaster County there is a mesocyclonic tornadic possibly supercell approaching, a storm that has had a history of several warnings attached to it. I don't think there are any right now, but that's why they call this place Tornado Alley. We're going to keep a really close eye on this tonight. <laughs> tonight. In the next 10 or 20 minutes, this thing will be on top of us. Like I said, you can't tell. It's just too overgrown out here. Yeah, I really got to complain about this. That is just disgusting. There could be snakes living in there. We don't dig snakes. And by way of comparison, here's my yard. Such that it is. You know, it's 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 not the cleanest yard in the world. Toys laying around all over the place, but I mean <laughs> we do cut the grass. A little bit more interesting up here. Not seeing any rotation yet, not really seeing an inflow yet. I used to chase tornadoes, so I sort of sort of know what I'm talking about. At least I sound like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Bit of a different perspective here. We're looking to the uh, northwest. I'm actually standing in my driveway here. And lo and behold, no sooner did I mention that the city should come out and place a Noxious Wheat Ordinance Warning Sticker on my neighbor's house. What's this? Could that be LPD? Are they here to place a Noxious Weed Ordinance Warning on my neighbor's house? Had the scanner on, I didn't hear uh, any addresses, familiar addresses mentioned. Maybe I should go back in and listen. Okay, we've got a lot of low level uh, clouds or cloud base riding the prevailing surface winds to the north which means shut up Dan speak English it's gonna rain pretty soon <laughs> all right I better get back in okay so I I take three steps and things get a little more interesting out here things change fast in weather like this okay this time for sure I'm going in to assess the situation I'll probably be back out in a few minutes because I just love this kind of weather. It's my favorite. Camera, don't fail me now. It's about as close as I can zoom in on this. Don't know if you can see this, but there are three tornado warnings right now. Two of them directly north of Omaha to our northeast. And more toward the east and a lot farther out over in Iowa. There seems to be another one that just popped up. And this whole line, you know, it doesn't look like we're getting anything, but this whole line is sinking slowly southward, so we're going to have a lot of fun tonight. This is going to be enjoyable for me. <laughs> like I said, I love okay, this. It's a little bit later. Uh, wow. It is only 6.30 in the evening. Usually, this time of year, it's June 1st, like I mentioned. It's really, you know, it's still daytime, but uh, rain's starting. 6.30 off to the west, you can see how uh, how dark it is. And I don't know if the camera's picking this up or not, but the sky is starting to take on a green tint. Don't worry, I have a... <laughs> have a plan in case we have to go down in the basement, you know. You've heard the stories, and they're true. 
Might happen, you never know. Oh, by the way, we don't have to pay the city to have our street lights on. I guarantee they will come on each and every night. And we don't have to pay, we don't have to adopt these lights. <laughs> well, that's wrong with the springs. Ah, yes, tis raining. Tis raining hard. Had a little bit of hail a moment ago. Maybe, uh, still hear it. Big storm just about to come through. I've got the scanner on, the TV on. I've got four or five tabs going on the computer so I can. Yeah. It's kind of cool, huh? Yes, sir. Oh, they'll just have to see. Here comes a car right now. They'll just have to turn their windshield wipers on really high. Wow, you can't even see that car. Through the, there it is. Yeah, our neighbor, sort of. Uh oh, I'm seeing things falling from the trees. I think this. Uh, oh, she's backing up. Look out, she's backing up. Look out. Ah. I think she's gonna bail on driving. It's raining so hard. Look at that. It's uh. It's raining so hard. The grass won't be able to grow. Right. That house, that brick house that I'm on, is only about 200 yards away. You can barely see it. It's raining so hard. Yeah, but there's something falling out of there. Yeah. The rain is knocking all the leaves off the tree. Oh goody! I get to rake some more. Yeah. I wonder why. It would appear that the bulk of the storm has passed, but I'm not sure. Most of the lightning is off to the and thunder is off to the south east. But I was just looking at the radar and it looks like there's some more redevelopment off to the west. Oh, no damage. My Weber one touch silver 22.5 inch barbecue <laughs> charcoal burning grill survived the storm as well as a cheap ass brinkman. My plant is okay. Everything's fine. Except for the fact that my cannon is getting wet now. Hey little rabbit, run rabbit run. You enjoying the storm? Cut your grass. Yo, people need to cut your grass. Look at that, that is just disgusting with those weeds. Hey, like grass over there. Yeah, it's too tall. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, we're we're out of here. Wow, this is the coolest.